But let's hear now from an expert. We're co crossing to Professor Carol Sikora, who joins me now. He's an oncologist and the former head of the World Health Organization's Cancer Programme. Professor Sikora, thank you for joining us on the show. Can I try and ask you um, about the nature of the prognosis here? So initially, Charles um, was admitted with an enlarged prostate, and then it appears something else has turned up. Is this quite normal when somebody goes to get screened for one thing, something else will appear on the radar? It does, and it's nothing to worry about. We're not, we know he has cancer, so that's for definite. That would have been confirmed at the London Clinic by a biopsy. Something's been sent to the lab. It takes usually a week. You can't speed it up. Uh, it requires special tests in the laboratory. Pathologist looks at it and says, this is cancer. We're not being told exactly where it's come from. There was a hint that it's not from the prostate, but it must be from that area, and it was unexpected. So it's likely to be very early. And the, my prediction is it's probably in the bladder, and it's a small tumour in the bladder that can be quite easily treated that actually carries a good outcome. So uh, for a man of 75, a young man in his prime, like Prince Charles, or like King Charles, I think it's likely that uh, he's got a good 10 years to look at, even if it is a bladder cancer. Obviously, the earlier we detect cancer, the lower the stage of the disease and the more chance of curing the disease with conventional treatments. And obviously, Carol, you, you know more than anyone, when you mention the C word, people's hearts freeze. A lot of people watching this will empathise with that. But the importance of early screening here to get that detection in is just manifestly you know, the thing to do, isn't it? It is. There's a threshold for when people have symptoms that make them go to the doctor or do something, call NHS 111, just do something. For women, it's actually lower than for men. We've seen it time and time again. Men over 70, they just put things off. They just gr don't, don't grumble about their symptoms, maybe passing blood somewhere, maybe getting up several times at night to pass water, for example. And they just carry on for months before they say, well, maybe I should go and see the doctor. And then you've got to phone up a receptionist and it may not be a pleasant experience and you're frightened of what may happen with tubes and so on. So men are different from women, how they react. And what Prince Chuck King Charles has done is really an educational program in mm. that for a personal education about cancer, by admitting that he has the disease, he's given lots of people the willingness to do something about symptoms earlier. And another thing, Professor Sikora, we were all amazed by the number of uh, people um, investigating, searching online for prostate conditions and large prostate. And now we have this, in a sense, an added benefit to the public of this very public journey that King Charles is going through, of being very open about what he's going through. Presumably now, man, I'm in that age bracket. I, I'm a man over 50. If you go and get checked out for one thing, it's like a general screening everywhere else. And that's a positive thing to be doing. Exactly. And I think it does encourage people to go for screening. The NHS has a very good, one of the best screening programs for cancer in breast, uh, in a variety of other diseases. Lung cancer screening is coming. And for the right population, these are heavy smokers, people with persistent coughs and so on. So screening is worthwhile. But Perhaps even more important, Martin, is if you have persistent symptoms, wherever they are in the body, sore throat, bleeding somewhere, do something about it. Don't put it off. Just go forward. And, you know, dialing NHS 111, you'll get a response. There are red flags that the operators pick up and you'll be tracked through the system. Sure, there are delays. We've all heard about them in the NHS. But if you've got symptoms that suggest cancer, you'll be fast tracked through it. Thank you very much, Professor Carol Sikora, for that positive and upbeat message on the King's health condition. Superb. Thanks for joining us on the show.